What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video, just to start off, I'm going to be doing a commentary of this upper body chest emphasis workout. To those of you who don't know, that just means that it's a chest workout, primarily a chest workout, but you're going to hit the entire of the upper body. So as you can see here, we'll start off with chest, then we'll go to a back movement, then we'll go on to another chest, back, but you'll see that as we go on. So here I am doing four sets of bench press, 70 kilos, six to eight reps. And something you guys might notice about my form is that I'm really trying to control it on the negative. I personally feel that it's helped me progress in my bench a lot since I've started doing this, taking a lot more care, it's making me think a lot more about my form, and actually has improved the physique, the overall aesthetic look of my chest overall as well. So moving on to the next movement, and this would be a low pulley row. I would like to have done a bent over row, but actually, I thought I'd just mix things up a little bit and try using cables. I've tried it at home before, so I thought I'd try it here. Just steady yourself and pull back, squeeze at the top, and, and again control it on the negative for that maximum muscle contraction. The next movement is incline bench. I would usually do dumbbells for this, but again, I thought I'd try something different in this workout. So I'm trying using the barbell, which actually I haven't done for a good few months now. I'm all over summer I use dumbbells, incline dumbbell press, but flat barbell bench press. As you can see me here doing 60 kilos, 6 to 8 reps for 4 sets. One more quick tip for you guys as well is as you can see me here pausing at the top, just ca just catching my breath, bracing myself ready for the next couple of reps, ready to finish off the set with good proper form to reduce that risk of injury. So moving on to the first back movement, as I said it's a full upper body, lat pull down, obvious form here, pull from the top, squeeze and then release control on the negative as well. Coming up next guys is me using the pec deck. This is the next chest movement of the day and as you guys know this is my favourite, favourite exercise but with a difference this time i'm using the machine just because it's accessible to me trying new things out at the gym also the cables were taken uh, shock one thing i hate about public gyms is that the machines and the cables and the, even the freeways are always taken you always have to wait but anyway i thought i'd use this just for a change went really light just because this machine tends to hurt the hell out of my shoulders so uh, moving on to the next one bicep curls. Sorry about the dreadful angle here, I really didn't realise quite how bad it was until I reviewed the footage just now. This unfortunately means that I can't really show you properly what I'm going to talk about. Keep that elbow glued to the side, really just flexing from the bicep, bending at the elbow, trying not to sway as much as possible, really keeping that form tight, controlling the bicep. And the last movement of the day, there was also some rear delt flies, really hitting those shoulders, controlling the contraction, but for some reason it just didn't record. But anyway, here's the last movement of the day, tricep push down using the rope, really flexing that elbow at the bottom, again, trying to keep that elbow tight, the same with the bicep curl. As I mentioned in my supplements video a couple weeks back, I struggle with bad joints, so if I don't take my time, use proper form with my arm movements, then I tend to get a bit of joint pain in my elbow. So that is it for today's commentary guys, and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, so to finish off today's video, we have a muscle food order. Everything in this box costs £40, so let's get right into it. Let's open it straight away. Use a big ass knife, because everyone knows that it looks cooler on YouTube to use a knife rather than some scissors. So as I say guys, everything in this box, £40. I can't remember I can't remember exactly what's in there. I know there's a lot of beef, like a lot of steak and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's open it up and see. So to start off with, we have two barbecue chicken burgers, two extra lean steak burgers, two chicken burgers, giant meatballs, there's six of them in there, and there is what, 342 grams of them in there. And what I love about muscle food is that they don't pump a load of water into their products. Same with their chicken, there's lots of chicken in here, but I'm just not going to put it on the floor. Um, so. Same with the chicken, they don't pump a lot of water into the products, they don't put a lot of unnecessary added weight in the product. You actually get 342 grams of proper British beef, uh, and there they are, six giant meatballs, so let's see what's next. There's some uh, oh, low-fat Cumberland sausages, and I think there should just be some low-fat pork sausages in here, yep. As well, so there's about, in each sausage, I think if I remember right, there's about 0.1 grams of fat, which is ridiculous for a sausage. Right, and here we go, the good stuff, the steaks. Two free range flat iron steaks. Oh, there's some bacon there. 14 bacon medallions in there. Remember, all of this food, guys, was, came to 40 pound. Here's some more steaks, there's a rump steak there. 
another steak. We have here some pork medallion steaks as well. So lots of steaks, lots of big good, lots of good meat in this package. And all we've got here left, guys, is some chicken breast fillets, which obviously I'm just not going to put on the floor. But uh, there you go, lots of food, lots of meat, all 40 pound. Uh, I have a discount code for Muscle Food, so I'll put that in the description box for you guys down below. So be sure to check that out. Uh, and that's it for today's video, guys. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.